so before we get into this week's episode of the show, I'm going to redo the intro song and stay on the starting stream screen because uh, I didn't hit record on Audacity. So without further ado, let's do that. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to HCS Pro Talk, your weekly Halo eSports podcast. I fucked up at the beginning of this week's episode, but you know what? Who cares? This is a special episode of, what do we call it, Will? Late Night with HCS Pro Talk. It's, uh, we're, we're coming to you live. This is episode 162 for the week of January 17th, 2021. Um, the reason why it's a late show is because we're like, it's 8 p.m. Central. So here we are. Uh, my name's Josh, a.k.a. JK Fire, and this week I'm joined by the man who did not fuck up the intro to the show. The man in the, is that a Call of Duty League launch weekend sweatshirt? Will, a.k.a. I am Mr. Mayhem. Will, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right, man. I will take blame for the, the messed up intro, though, because I made a face on, on camera. That was that off camera for you guys uh, watching. Uh, but I, I think I threw Josh off the cadence. Straight up. <laughs> straight up. First and foremost, <laughs> Justin, welcome. Good evening. Glad to see you. High Tech Redneck, a.k.a. Beth, welcome back to the live show. And thank you for the eight-month resub. You get a woo! Thank you so much. And there's Will's woo, of course, in the chat. Um... Ladies and gentlemen, before we get into anything of what's actually coming up on this week's episode, we have a special announcement that we're going to get right into, and that is, Will, potatoes are coming back to Taco Bell! Hell yes. Potatoes. <laughs> I was I wanted to spam that meme everywhere. <laughs> is, it, is it a boil a mash them, stick them in a stew or something yes, like that? Yeah, yes. From yes. Lord of the Rings. Lord, Lord of the Rings, yes. Um let's get the um, two bullet back. Let's get the two bullet points out of the way first, then we can talk about this further. So uh yeah, yeah, yeah. in a news article and a memeable video released by the CEO on their Twitter account, um, where the CEO is literally doing a voiceover with in a potato. Uh March eleventh, twenty twenty one. Potatoes are coming back across all stores. Um, well, they say that they hope to have them fully available within every store by March 11th, 2021. And they also at the very end teased um, like their version of what would be like the impossible meat. So a plant-based meat product that's not actual meat um, because they're, they want to include more options for the vegetarian folk as well. Um but will this yes this means that your cheesy fiesta potatoes are officially coming back. I'm so excited. Like I was I felt a little lost. I was o ordering cheese roll-ups. Who the fuck bad. or Hey, you know what? You're right. They're not bad until until your local joint fucking burns two of them. How the fuck do you burn cheese inside of the fucking tortilla? I'm not talking about the tortilla being burned, okay? Because it wasn't. I'm literally talking about the cheese inside the fucking tortilla was burned. I digress. All right. So yeah, potatoes coming back to Taco Bell. Uh, I'm excited. The, I'm it's, excited. It's official. It's official. It was uh now the reason why they took them away for those who do not know is because of COVID. Uh, they transitioned their entire menu to being drive through only. Um, I don't know why they had to take like from from a food standpoint. I don't understand why they had to take potatoes away. Uh, I just don't Maybe. know from a consumer perspective it doesn't make sense but maybe like an internal thing like Absolutely. how they had to cook them the way they the how much time they had to waste on them yeah it just wasn't feasible how they had to reheat them you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm just kidding it's a fast food I mean, they probably sat in a warming tray Let's sure but hey they were delicious <laughs> regardless and they're coming back so that's all that matters um will with the special announcement out of the way would you like to know what's coming up on this week's show what else you got for us 
So first off, happy one one seven day. It is January seventeenth. Yes, that and is today. Uh, yes, it is today. And I did not include it in the show notes because it's not going to be relevant. But if you are, excuse me. Oh Jesus Christ! Yo, Jordan with the ten month three sub on a ten month streak as well. Thank you so much to one of our swords of Sagilios. And as Will clearly pointed out in the chat, woo, there's the woo as well. Um, the reason why I did not include this in the show notes is because it's gonna, like I said, it's going to be irrelevant. But if you're watching live right now, uh, then know that if you log into MCC today, you will get an exclusive 117 nameplate in MCC. So do so if you haven't already. Not right now because we, you know, we're talking. But, you know, when we're not talking, which doesn't happen very often, but hey, then go log in. Don't fucking leave. All right. I'm just kidding. So that's that. We have GT Halo brings a fan favorite back. We have tournament recaps that Will's going to run through. We have cosmetic toggles. <sighs> the CDL 2021 season is set to begin and then, of course, we have video games at the very end of the show. But without further ado, Will, let's get into some competitive news. Um, Jordan says, of course, this information comes the day you come on late. Uh, all in favor of banning Jordan and not being a mod anymore, say I. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so... You know what? Let's save... I'm not going to say the best for last, but let's save, let's save the biggest announcement for last here. So first and foremost, we have Grandmaster Halo Tournaments announcement. This is by Grandmaster Tournaments. It's a Halo 5 HCS 2v2, and it's taking place on Friday, January 29th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then we have Louis V. Titans Money Tuesday announcement. This is by LVT Productions. $1,000 Money Twos match. AKA Louis V Titans money Tuesday bound and renegade whew, going up against Druck and soul snipe. Ooh, Ooh, when and where January 19th. Yeah. That's two days from now at 7 30 PM central standard time. They, they included central in there. What nice man, Louis V Titan. Thank you. We feel like very neglected over here. Everybody fucking says Pacific time or Eastern time, but central time is where it's at. Twitch.tv forward slash Louis V Titan. Co-host is Nighty Night. Casting is done by Tool is Cast. And why not be reckless? Or why not be casting? And then finally, last but certainly not least, we have GT Halo Presents The Paint Row Raid V2. Your favorite competitive action sack titles are back with two new additions. Rochambeau, Husky Raid, Paintball on two maps, Mangusumo, and Soccer. Saturday, January 30th at noon Eastern time, twitch.tv forward slash GT Halo. And there's a link to the sign up in the Google Doc of the show notes of the show, exclamation point show notes in chat. Or you can head over to their Twitter. It's there too. Don't miss it. The first one was fucking awesome. Can't wait to watch it. Check out the weird plays that happen. It's going to be a fun time, man. It's going to be a really fun time. Um, And believe it or not, that's it for the competitive <laughs> news. Upcoming Turnips of the Week presented by NoobCombo.com. Check out NoobCombo.com for all Halo Sports needs. We're still waiting on merch, but hey, it'll be here eventually. Will on Friday, January 22nd, we have the GM Halo Tournament's Halo 5 SWAT 2v2. I guess I probably should put uh, Louis V. Titans Money Tuesday in here. It's not technically like a tournament tournament, but, you know, it is what it is. But GM Halo Tournament's Halo 5 SWAT 2v2 on Friday, the 22nd. On Saturday, the 23rd, we have Strawley's Halo 5. It's Money 8, but so I'm going to say Euro 8s <laughs> tournament. And then we have Manzaru's Halo 4 2v2 tournament is taking place on Saturday. Can't wait. And that's with a special 
watch party broadcast. So tune into the watch party on Twitch and uh, check out all that fun shit. And then on Sunday, January 24th, to round out the week, we have SWAT Nation SWAT Back to the Future 2 and the GM Halo Tournament's Halo 5 Free for All. Those are your upcoming turns for the week presented by NoobCombo.com. And if you haven't already, then there's probably no saving you. But maybe, just maybe, just maybe, you could go to NoobCombo.com for all your Halo esports needs. But still no merch. What is up, Mr. Onions? Great name. Welcome to the live show. That's it for the upcoming tournaments. Will, what do we have next? Roster Media! Well, um, as we're waiting for more things to happen, nothing going on in Roster Mania this week, so... But you know what um, we are going to do next week, Will? What's that? I've decided. Yeah. Next week, we're going to run through all the CDL rosters. Because I believe they've all been confirmed now. Okay. So, so we'll put that in Cotton or the Games Watch, but we're gonna we'll have, we'll have some rosters to go through. We can we can give some predictions to where we think the season's gonna go. Because later on in the show, we're gonna talk about the season opener coming up quick. I'm excited. But will while we don't have Halo rosters to talk about right now, we do have some tournaments to recap. So please, yes, run us through, run the folks through. What happened over the past week, sir? Of course, of course. So we'll start off with Wesenthal's Halo 5 1v1 Pistol Extravaganza. Extravaganza! Um, in third place, I believe uh, this gamer tag is supposed to say Lady. Um, in second, we have Command Station. And first, it was Nap Times taking home the, the first place there. Not a SWAT uh, tournament. No, not a SWAT tournament. But pistols, man. I mean, he just must have it with the pistol. He must. All right, next up we have Hydra Gaming Halo 5 Co-Ed 2v2. In fourth place, we had Queen Saiyan, which was uh, Queen and Saiyan. Third was JK, which was Krandipus and Ren Renegade. In second was California, which was Divine Damsel and Trippy. In first place went to Bound Station, which was Command Station and Bound. And then last tournament we have to recap here. Tommy, Cost, Tylenol H3, Team Throwback Draft Tournament. So here we go in third, fourth. Um, I guess team name is just the captain of the draft. Yes, that is team, correct. But, so team Blaine was obviously Blaine, Ananon, Danga, and Fallacy. Uh, and then the other third, fourth place team is Luigi, which was Luigi, Fronter, Bumper, Whoopsie, and Kazan. In second, we had team Elements, which was Elements, Ryrish, <laughs> ZBQs, and then... It could be Andrea's OG or Andreas OG, depending on how you want to pronounce that. And then in first place, we had Deceiting, which is obviously Deceiting, Royal Blood. And then, and Ed, what? Do you have any uh, guesses on that gamer tag, Josh? It's, I would I would say Ananog, but I have literally no idea. Is that a contestant or, or, for the worst or, gamer tag uh, of the year? I mean, that's that's probably the worst on this list. Um or it could be like a nano G. Sure. A nanog. Yeah. So that's a, anyway. And then the last <laughs> member of this team is quadruple foul. So congrats so, on taking first there. So were there and, any names that you've listed through that you could see as this needs to be included on our worst gamer tags of the year list? <laughs> um, I would say throw that one on there. And because you just like, it, it's a, a little bit of a tongue twister. You don't really know how to say it. I'm going to add a it right now. And then, and then, yeah. And then, and the, the, the funny part is, is we're going to have to, like, I'm going to have to rehash these at the end of the year. Oh, so yeah. Like, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be the worst thing ever. It's going to be great. You uh, know what the best part is? We'll, we'll, keep a, we'll keep a ranking. So, like, right now, this is number oh, one, yeah. obviously. But when we add another one, is that one worse than this one? Or Okay. Yeah, you feel me? We should, we should do that off stream though until sure. like the list is complete oh that's yeah. fine that's fine that is perfectly fine all right that has been added thank you for running through those right. will yeah that's, that's all i got man without further ado let's get in to some regular news and uh 
Oh god. I, I okay. There's one thing that we're gonna be talking about here that while cool, it's there. I still don't understand why people were this upset about it. But whatever. First up, we have the HTS Grassroots nameplate reveal. This is by GT Halo, and it is titled Legendary Two. Introducing the brand new HTS Glass. Jesus, I keep wanting to say glass. Like what? Okay, Grassroots nameplate, Legendary 2. Who wants to be the first to get it? Well, you'll have a chance. You can match Martin Ohms, Zach Drek. Will, you ready? Yep. The only Zoltan. And Trespass and Halo 2 or 3 action sack on Friday, January 29th from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time. Or enter the Paint Row Raid V2. That we just talked about earlier in the show. Next news story. Dust and Echoes. This is by a company that I didn't I never thought we'd talk about on this show unless it was Destiny related. Bungie, as a matter of fact. Over on Bungie.net. And I quote Almost nine years ago, stats and files from our previous franchise, Halo stopped getting updated on Bungie.net. Since then, all stats, files, and other data from Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo Reach have lived on in remembrance at Halo.Bungie.net. On February 9th, the Halo.Bungie.net website will be taken offline permanently. Everyone is welcome to save their stats and files however they can, if they'd like to save anything. Please keep in mind that our news articles, forums, and groups were imported into the current version of Bungie.net back in 2013. So there you go. If you want your old shit, you have until February 9th to do so. Um, kind of an end of an era type situation. Kind of a little bittersweet moment. I I, I know when ha- when February 9th happens, it'll be more of like a, ah, damn. But, I mean, they haven't worked on it for so long. Who cares? Okay, here we go. Last news story of the fucking week. MCC development and flighting updates by none other than Postums over on HaloWaypoint.com. Halo 3 cosmetic toggle, Will. In our last game update for MCC, new content was added ahead of Season 5, which included several new armors for Halo 3. As images of these armors circulated online, we read feedback from players in the community wanting an option to, quote, turn off, end quote, these new armors to maintain a classic legacy experience, similar to how weapon skins operate in MCC today. We heard you and are happy to report that this feature is coming to MCC. The team is currently working on a game update that expands the existing skin toggle in the settings menu to also apply to armor. If you prefer a true classic experience, you'll be able to flip the, quote, new skins in Halo 3, end quote, toggle to disabled, and you won't see any new cosmetic items, weapon skins, vehicle skins, or armor, When you're playing Halo 3, if you decide to turn off cosmetics, any player in your game who are wearing new armor will appear as default Mark 4s or Mark 6s. I'm an idiot. Thank you for the continued feedback and discussions around balancing the original legacy experiences in these games with uh, with the desire to add fun, new, unexpected cosmetics. Once again, we're grateful to be able to partner with uh, with our players to make your MCC experiences even better. So, Will, I sense a problem. What would that be? That toggle is for everything. It's not just for the armors. Oh, okay. So those who really did like the new weapon skins and the vehicle skins, sounds like it's all or nothing. So you must really, really hate looking at those new armors to want to turn off everything. At least uh, 343 can say they provided the option at this point. Um, Even if you're a fan of it or not, it doesn't change. If you like the new armors, you're going to be able to see them. If you don't, you won't. There you go. Justin says they, they have two. Do they? Do they have two toggles? Is that new skins in Halo 3 toggle just an added one? 
Because, yeah, is it going to be... They already well, have they a already, weapon skin one. Yeah, but, they, like... They do. Based off of what this... It says... So, okay, let's say there are two toggles. Stay with me here. Let's say there are two toggles. One is for just weapon skins, right? The one mm-hmm. that currently exists is just for weapon skins. The other toggle, what they're adding is new skins in Halo 3. If you toggle that to disabled, you won't see any new cosmetic items, weapon skins, vehicle skins, or armor when you're playing Halo 3. So it sounds to me from this statement that it's all or nothing. Because, that, because yeah, this would technically override the weapon, skin weapon one. skins. Yep. That's what it sounds like. I could be wrong. They need to clarify that if that's the case, but... I don't know, man. Yep. I don't know. J- Justin says, good, make those babies decide. That was, that. that's kind of what I wanted to end it on, on that with, is that I wish people, I've said it before, I'll say it again. People need to quit their fucking bitching over something so minuscule like this. They're acting like fucking toddlers. And I know because I have one. Like they're literally acting like a fucking toddler. All right. Um, Matchmaking ranked update. Next Wednesday, January 20th, Halo 2 Classic Team Hardcore will be rotating out. And Halo Reach Team Hardcore will be rotating in. As a part of this change, we'll be including an updated map. Specifically, the pit remake from the map variant of Forge World made by Just Salat has been rebuilt using the map variant Tempest made by Run Nokyard Run. Halo Reach's playlist map pools included many different ones created in Forge. With this change, we aim to break up the similar uh, look of many maps that use the same color palettes. In a nutshell, it takes advantage of your Thorage update and breathes some life into the map by moving away from the traditionally gray aesthetics. That's fucking awesome! Every fucking Reach map will gray shit. That's great! It has also allowed us to fix various geometry issues present in the original. We hope you enjoy it and do not hesitate to reach out in our feedback threads to share your thoughts. You know, for as much as I hate Reach, that sounds great. That sounds legitimately awesome. Get rid of a lot of the grays? Cool. It's funny because Justin literally was commenting on that during the playdate last week. And then, yeah, fucking geometry issues too? Hell yeah. Now do the same thing to Halo 5. Okay, that's it for the regular news. Time for con another games watch. What's up? What's up, Voodoo? Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Ohms, give a round of round of applause in the chat. Everybody, give a round of applause. Will join me in the fucking round of applause for Martin. Thank you. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Martin Ohms, Voodoo man in the chat with the paint roll raid V two and the nameplate reveal as well. What a fucking madman. What a madman. <laughs> Cotton of the games watch. Will the Florida mutineers. They sign a familiar face. This is by the Florida mutineers. And you can thank Beth for posting this in the discord as well. Right. When we fucking like we're about to end last week's show, this was announced and I forgot to put it in. So we're going to talk about it right now. One more mutineer for 2021. Welcome to the crew. Neptune. As a substitute player. I feel this. I can feel the, the ogre two tentacles weaving their way into this one. Is he's the GM still, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe. I don't know for sure. Either way. We know he loves his halo. He his halo guys. So, but no Neptune, great player. Uh, who knows if he'll see, Ogre 2 still is, says Voodoo. Perfect. Who knows if he'll see actual game time um, during the league, but I think that's a great pickup regardless. He's been putting a lot of grind in. People know his name. He's an up-and-comer as well. I like it. Nice. All right. Just didn't love Frosty, though. <laughs> oh. I mean, you must have not cut it. I mean, if you think about it, Frosty did kind of take his job on CLG, so... Get it? Get it, Maddie? I, I, 
Do we get it, everybody? 2016 CLG Ogre 2. Fucking. Pick up Frosty. Also, what's up, Maddie? How's it going, man? Where's the fucking merch? Um, CDL 2021 season opener has been announced. It's about a Call of Duty League and Charlie Intel. So, from the COD League Twitter account, we have announcing the hashtag CDL 2021 kickoff classic. Join us January 23rd and 24th for a special one-year anniversary of the Call of Duty League. Fan-voted show matches, 2021 season details, and group selection show. But get ready to fight for the call. Opening weekend of the CDL 2021 season is set for February 11th through the 14th. And then over at charlieintel.com, just three weeks after the kickoff classic, the 2021 Call of Duty League will officially kick off with Atlanta Phase set to host the opening weekend home series from February 11th to the 14th. Like most home series in 2020, the first event of the 2021 season will take place online. So based off of what the COD League tweeted out on the 23rd and 24th, it sounds like we're going to get the full season scope. Uh, hopefully they talk about whether or not they're going to try to do an in-person event. I doubt it. Uh, right. With everything going on, vaccines just starting to go out now. I highly doubt we're going to have in-person events this year uh, for this league. And we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, man, we're, we're less than a month away, less than a month away to the start of the next season. We have a new team, lots, like nearly every single, I think every team, team except Dallas has a new team. So this is going to be fucking awesome. It's like we're starting fresh completely brand new game as well. It's going to be exciting shit. Will, is there anything you want to add for the Kai league before we move on to the games that you played during the week? I'm just uh, ready for it to get rolling again. Um, Another major competitive sport coming back up. It's uh, it's exciting. Just miss the big uh, Halo tournaments now. <laughs> exactly. And as Justin said, kind of makes the timing of Infinite land pretty good. Up here, at everyone should be vaccinated by September. And hey, maybe we'll have in-person events in 2022. Here's hoping. And with that, it's time for Will's Avengers within the Halo Halo Games 2! Will, what did you happen to play over the last week? Oh, God. I played a lot of Tarkov. Tarkov. Yes. Uh, yeah. Are you rolling in money now? Um, I mean, I got up to four mil, <laughs> and then I started spending money on cases, so then I could then get more stuff in my stash to hoard and whatnot. So, um. Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, last night, I think. Yeah, last night I did some uh, uh, night raids, so night night vision. And I have a challenge to kill three other players with pistols. Okay. And I got two of the three in one raid with a freaking you know brought in my Glock, and uh, <laughs> it was it was fun. It was it, uh, just crazy moments with running around with pistols and night vision. So, um. Yeah, Tarkov making my way. I think I'm I'm getting close to the point on like this is the farthest I've ever been in in Tarkov. Like okay. I've I've uh, always kind of given up on it, but this is the like quest tasks all that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Justin says, "Will you love those games that just require a grind?" Yeah, it gets me in trouble too because now I'm falling so far behind on Destiny stuff because I've just been straight up playing Tarkov. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know why I do that to myself, but I do. Um, and then Josh, you'll probably tell this with much more excitement, but we played some Fortnite <laughs> for Wednesday's B, uh, for Wednesday's BJ's with an <laughs> extra J this week. <laughs> Wednesday's B double J's. Yeah. Well, it's triple. It was triple J's. This. Yeah. So, Wednesday's triple BJ's. <laughs> we had, uh, we had Joey join us. And uh, we played Fortnite, and yeah, we we did play Fortnite. Yep. So Josh, you want to roll through yours and sure? Uh, I guess I'll let you elaborate on our Fortnite. Sure. 
So I played. Yeah, that's true. Yes. So I played GTA five. I uh, completed the new heist and that fucker. If you don't go in stealthy, that fucker's hard. Like, holy shit. I'm talking about the new Island heist that it's, it was, they added a, a, diff, a, a new small Island to the game and Dr. Dre's in it. What? Dr. Dre, like literally Dr. Dre voice person, the, the actual person is in the game Oh, crazy. as himself. And then another rap, another DJ is in it as well. And the funniest fucking thing is it's like a cameo for a minute. And then they they don't show up again. <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, but no, it was, yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. There's a lot of cool new things that you could do in it. A lot of cool setup stuff you could do this, but I will say this, the, the setup is very long, like very long. If you want to do everything, it's the, the really shitty part about it is in order to keep you to keep playing in order to make you keep playing that game, like every setup mission, you have to start at the submarine that either you or a friend has in your crew you go do the mission, then you have to go back to the submarine, get the new mission, go out, do it, go back to the submarine. And this was like, I think after Dom did them all, I think it was probably around 15 to 20 times that this oh, happened. Wow. It was it was stupid as fuck. Um, but the actual mission itself was pretty cool, and we actually got in there. There's a lot of different ways you could get in. So, yeah, it was a fun time. Um, also, was, uh, has I have been playing Legends of Runeterra, which is Riot's... Uh, digital card game um, similar to like a, I mean, it's not a, this it's the same genre as a magic, the gathering Yu-Gi-Oh dual links, Pokemon TCG, stuff like that. But the gameplay is completely different. Um, it's good. It's free. It's awesome. Played some MCC for the community play date. A couple things I want to point out here. The last game that we played, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was the last game that we played. Two two things happened in it. Hero Spartan dropped four, over 40 kills. We played BTB because there are five of us. Hero Spartan dropped over 40 fucking kills. And it was still 100. Okay? So just think about that. It, he went off. But during that same game, I finally decided to please Justin. And by that, I picked up dual Halo 2 pistols. And you can quote me here. I had a fucking awesome time. I had a blast, Will. Yeah. An absolute blast. I, I even commented on how cool they sounded. We're playing Halo 2 Anniversary. It's one of the BTB maps in that. But, uh... Holy moly. That was fun. That was legitimately fun. And I decided the rest of the game, I was just going to do that. And then Justin commented that he was going to have competition now going for dual pistols and maps. <laughs> you better watch the fuck out, Justin. I'm coming for that ass. All right. And then we played Fortnite. And something happened that we thought was never going to happen. In a game where Jordan and I have literally no idea how to build. We won. We got a fucking win in Fortnite. Not only that, I'm going to toot my own horn for a second. I got a good amount of kills that game. One of the only games that that happened, mind you, but it did happen. Will and Joey, they know how to build communication was on point. Maddie says there must've been a lot of bots in that lobby. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. We, what was it? it, it did, was it the one where Jordan went down yeah. and Joey kept picking him up and throwing him? Yeah. Yep. That was like the, the last two teams, right? There it was, too. We, we were, yeah. So it was us against another squad. They had, they technically had height advantage. And we yeah, were, we were both moving, um, with the circle because we're, we're trying to get away from the circle. We both teams were, 
and we would try to just pop shots off. Jordan was down. Joey was picking him up and throwing him to keep him inside the, like outside of the circle area. And it's everything happened so fast that like when the, when the victory Royale screen showed up, I thought we lost. Oh, like, I'm not kidding. I thought we lost. I'm like, Oh my, because I was, uh, I was down at the end there too. Yeah. And so I just, I thought we lost. And then the victory Royale screen showed up and I just couldn't fucking believe it. We literally won a game. Um, I think that was the first ever Fortnite win I've ever gotten. I think, uh, it's, I just couldn't, I couldn't fucking believe it. Uh, it was, it was two guys that knew what they were doing with two people who did not know what they were doing and we won a game. Yeah. Yeah. It, that, that whole ending sequence was crazy. Because, it really was. Um, yeah, we were pushing towards the zone as the circle was closing in. Those guys popped up over the edge of the hill as we were moving, like, kind of down the side of it. And I saw, yeah, Joey just kept, because you can carry people now in Fortnite. You can carry your teammates. He said, yeah, Joey was picking Jordan up and chucking him. And I, was, and I was like, I got your builds. So I was holding, I was building walls so we could get to the circle. Um, in between building, I was taking pop shots, all that. And we just moved down. And then the other team tried to third party. And it just got crazy, and we ended up getting those final kills to come in at the right time. And, yeah, it's the first win I've had in a long time. I had sworn off Fortnite. We both have. So. And then uh, I still, I've checked every fucking day, Will. It's still not in the goddamn shop. It might, I mean, dude, it could be weeks. It could be months before it comes back. I'm checking every fucking day. I'm committed. I'm committed to wasting oh. money on that game now. I've done it once. I'll do it one more time. All right. That's it. Because I can't believe I'm saying this. But so like when we play, when we play shooters, Will, right? When we, yeah. when we play multiplayer games in general, like I, the, yes, I'm having fun. But one of the things I want to do is I want to win. Like that's when we play Halo, I want to win. When, when we play for the king, like, Yes, I'm having a shit ton of fun, but the end goal is to, I want to beat that final boss together and, and complete the campaign we're working on, right? Yeah. Like it's all the, like, multiplayer games, I want, I just want to win what we're doing. When we started playing Fortnite the other week, I I just didn't care. I'm like, I'm going to get pooped on every game, but at least I'm with a, some buds and I can laugh and have a fun time. And then, like, Jordan and I were starting to get some kills, and I'm like... I'm having more fun now that I'm getting some kills. Yeah. You're hitting snipe shots. Like it's just, things are going well. And then we got that win and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Now I'm feeling it. <laughs> yeah. Not like, not, not like I just want to keep playing it all the time because I don't. It's just when we do, I'm having a fun time. So, yeah. And it's, it's, I think it's one of those things that's, it's a game where you don't have expectations. So yeah. when, when you play it, it's just not as intense. We're, we're we are just kind of, laying back chilling laughing and oh we got shit on yeah okay let's exactly again <laughs> well we're still like jordan and i are still learning new things about the game in general like just oh, yeah it, it just, it's yeah it's just weird um there's so many more things in that game now than launch obviously so apparently so we those uh those people we can you like you can talk to on the map yeah you, you can, can recruit upgrade. them yeah, or you can just up like it's probably better. You can upgrade your guns from them. So if you get like a green tack shotty, you can upgrade it to a blue or a purple if you have enough gold. That's pretty fucking cool. So that's so that's what yeah. the gold's for. Yep, that's what the gold's for in the game. I was wondering what the fuck that's. See, learning something so, new about it every so, yeah. fucking time. Yep. Um, uh, an alert here. I think uh, Tampa Bay is gonna take the the game. Yeah. Good. <laughs> fuck Sean Payton. <laughs> Fuck them. Only reason why I don't like the Saints yep, is because yep. Sean Payton he can go fuck himself. <laughs> um, but no, did you watch the did you watch the other game, the Browns I, Chiefs game? I did. Which crazy? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was close in score, but the Chiefs dominated real real. Yeah, and if Mahomes wouldn't have gone out. Yeah. That game would have gotten away. Yep. I just feel so bad for the Browns, though, because they had that fucking, 
who who was it that fumbled in the end zone or like right next oh, to the end zone? Yeah. That was yeah. devastating. That that literally ended the game for them right there. Because they not only did he fumble it right towards the end zone, like he was literally like inches away from getting a touchdown. He fumbles it and since the chief touched it and it went out of bounds, it was considered um it was considered like a turnover. A touchback. Yeah, it was considered a yeah. touchback, so the Chiefs got the ball. I'm like, motherfucker. That just look seeing the look on Kevin Stefanski's face. Like, that's another reason why I was hoping that I was just hoping that I I, I not like the Chiefs. I was just hoping that the Browns would somehow pull out a win. Because Kevin was our offensive coordinator. This is his first year. His first year as head coach of the Browns. He got them to the fucking playoffs. Mm-hmm. In, in the first time in what feels like forever, they won a playoff game in the first time since 1994, I think is what the stat was. Like in, in the, he genuinely had a chance to go to an AFC championship game. His first fucking year as a head coach of the Browns. Like that to me, like people have thoughts about Baker. I don't think he's amazing or anything like that, but it's just, they sure. had, Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Baker's good enough. Like, yeah. He, he can, but. Yeah, he's a good facilitator of the football. Mm-hmm. It's just, I just felt for them in that. When I saw that happen, I'm like, oh, no. Because if there's one thing the Browns are good with is momentum. And as soon as that happened, because they were, to, if that was a touchdown, they have a lot of momentum right there. Their defense might be able to mm-hmm. make a stop. You never know. Games can happen. Like, things can happen in any game. But when that happened, when that fumble happened, that momentum was gone just for the rest of the fucking game. That momentum was gone. And then even when they, even when Mahomes was out for the rest of the game with a concussion, they still couldn't fucking win it. Well, Chad <sighs> Henney came up big. He did. He did. He got that. He got that first down. Um, Really, really big first down play. Well, like it was like third and 14, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. They, yeah. yeah, shout out, props to him, props to Andy Reid for fucking doing some great play calling right there. Yeah. For me, the question is now next week, because... I think he'll be back. He did not look like he knew who he was. No, <laughs> like, no, and that's funny, yeah. because if you go back and you watch that, like, watch mm-hmm. what happens to him, the, the the opponent's helmet hit him in the shoulder pad, like, nowhere yeah. near his helmet. So I'm like, where the fuck did he get hit in his head? Was, he, the, was there a neck thing? No, he hit his head hit the ground. Okay, he went to the ground. Okay, um, right on the forehead. So, um, poor kid. Yeah, it was kind of like it. It was kind of scary, like that. Just, oh yeah, that look in his eye. You're like, what the hell? Well, that when he got up, it was um because they they talked about how he had to go to the locker room for like a uh, an ankle or foot thing, mm-hmm. and so when when that happened, and he was we he was standing up. I was watching his foot and ankle the whole time because I'm just oh, thinking yeah. of, because he, he looked like he tripped up, you know? Yeah. And then when you, when you saw his face, I'm like, Oh no, that's not what that means. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, but no, I think that I hope he's back next week because I want a good game against the bills. Um, who do you want to win that game? Bills or Chiefs? The, the, the Bills, same. honestly. Same. Um, I don't get me wrong, Mahomes is great. The Chiefs are really they're 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 balling out, you could say, with the amount of points they put up every game. Yeah. But, uh underdog story, right? The Bills coming up, they're get, finally getting set. Get they don't Josh have to worry Allen about the, the Patriots in the AFC this year. <laughs> right. No, and they're it's good. Right. They're genuinely fucking good. Yeah. Oh, they have a really good defense. They got Stephon Diggs. Man, I fucking yep. want them to win so bad. They've been doing the right things to build that team up there. So Yes, and um, if – do you have the game Bucks, on in the background? I do right now. So what's the score right now? It's still 30-20? Uh, yep, and Brady's kneeling. All right, so the game's over. Game's over. 30-20, Bucks take it. All right, so Bucks, Bucks pack. pack. Yep, Bucks pack at, at uh, Lambeau. Go Bucks, go! <laughs> I can't yeah. root for the Packers, even though they're gonna win. They're gonna destroy them. But 
Go Bucks go. They could. I don't know, man. I, I mean, know. they did hold the Saints only to 20 points. It's true. It's true. Well, the thing that I was blown away by is that the Bills held the Ravens to three. The Bills Lamar held... was like a non-factor in that game. Sure, but the fact that they couldn't run or pass the ball. Yeah. Like, three points. Um, Beth says, Bills 100%. I'm tired of the Chiefs. Yeah. I just, I the what, the Bills went three or four times in a row and lost every time, right? A long time ago. Uh, sounds right. Just yeah. like the Vikings. Yeah. But they, they like went three or four times in a row. Yeah. And they lost every time. And then it was forever until they even made it like had a chance. Mm-hmm. And now they have a legitimate fucking chance. And I'm, Oh, I'm rooting for him. I really am. And then let's just say, I mean, regardless if the Packers or the Bucks win, it doesn't matter. Wh- whoever their opponent is, I hope they wipe the fucking floor with them. Like Brady, I hope he gets sacked a shit ton of fucking times. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, I hope he gets picked off a shit ton of times. Bring that stat down a little bit, you bitch. I'm just kidding. They're both obviously Hall of Fame quarterbacks. First ballot Hall of Fame quarterbacks. But. Yeah. Um, Beth says, go Pack Go. No, Beth, no. <laughs> From Minnesota, I can never utter those words. Hey, Beth, let's take a bet. Who has a better record next year? The Minnesota Vikings or the Houston Texans? Who has a better record Don't next year? Don't even go there, dude. Oh, that's such a tragedy what's happening down in Houston right now. I mean, we're not that great either right now. Um, Beth says, Mahomes is from a town not far from here, and people think he, is hung, he, he hung the moon, and it's... In- <laughs> He hung the moon. I mean, he's pretty stellar though. Really, he's incredible. You can't. You gotta. The kid's a fucking star. He really is. the The throws that he's able to make. And I was watching. I was watching um Josh Allen yesterday with the Bills, obviously. And the and the the throws that fucking Josh Allen can make. Like they're both so good. Like Josh Allen throws a great ball. It's just. And Mahomes just throws things that you're like. How the fuck do you do that? It's, man, it's so cool to see. I was thinking about this the other day. I I think it's so cool to see these young, um, these young quarterbacks really make a name for themselves and really give it to the veterans that are in the space still. Like Justin Herbert is a fucking incredible player and he almost didn't even have a chance to play for the Chargers. There are, uh, well, I forgot, I'm, I feel terrible now. There are, uh, who was supposed to be their starter, the uh, the health professional or whatever punctured his lung. That's the only reason why Justin Herbert got the start. It's the only reason. Otherwise, he may not have seen a single start this year. And he was incredible. And then you have fucking uh, Joe Burrow in Cincinnati, who was playing unbelievably well until he tore both his ACL and MCL. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Josh Allen is really good this year. Year over year is just getting better. Mahomes is still playing incredible. Man. Great young quarterbacks is coming into the scene. Um, uh, Beth says, but uh, old Vikings won uh, 10,000%. I don't know about that. But she says, to be fair... I'm more of a J.J. Watt fan than a Texans fan, and it's starting to sound like he's leaving too, so I'll be following him and Watson wherever they go. Do you think they go together? Like if uh, Deshaun Watson is like, ah, I don't care where the fuck you send me, just give me the fuck out of this dumpster fire. Well, they'd have to go in the same trade deal then. Sure. Yeah, or is J.J. Watt up for, is he a free agent or is he looking to get traded? Or uh, they could, uh, he could pull, J.J. Watt could pull the Gronk move. Retire and he, come back? He threatens retirement because at first oh. Gronk threatened retirement. And yeah. they're like, okay, okay, okay. Because uh, it was, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was going to be traded, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Gronk was. Yeah, and Gronk, and Gronk's like, I, you fuck it. If you threat, if you're gonna trade, I'm just gonna retire. Fuck it. I don't care. 
And they're like, oh, uh, okay, okay, we'll keep you. He's like, all right, I won't retire. <laughs> Joke side, you fuck. I think the thing is, is that Houston's going into rebuild mode. They are. And well, JJ Watt coach, wa- is probably wants to get out to get some sort of championship titles under his belt. Sure. Well, you to had go somewhere where he's going to be needed. They had fucking um, they had DeAndre Hopkins, and they got rid of him for a second round pick or something like that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Beth, and you probably already realized this, but that head coach was a fucking moron. Um, also slightly moody. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. But yeah, I just, I, yeah, Beth, I'm pretty sure you already knew this, but your head, that previous head coach was a fucking idiot. Oh my God. You get rid of so many amazing players. What do you expect was going to happen? And I feel for Deshaun Watson too, because what was it at the, there was a, there was like a clip of, I think it was JJ Watt walking with him on the sideline or something like after a game. And he's like, sorry, we wasted one of your years. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, how devastating is that? Like you have one of the best defensive players ever in JJ Watt coming up to you and being like, Hey man, I'm fucking sorry. Like, it's just, and Deshaun Watson's good too. He fucking fights, man. He's a fighter. He deserves so much better. Oh, football, ladies and gentlemen. I would, uh, if there was any sort of entertainment of the idea, I would trade Cousins for him in a heartbeat. And then and then we get J.J. Watt, too. Yeah, bring him yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, talks are Everson Griffin said he wants to come back to Minnesota. Everson Griffin, go fuck himself. <laughs> he's, he's, he, he even complained. He complained that, that fucking um, Zimmer didn't give him incredibly high praise. Get the fuck out of here. There's a reason why you were, tr- there's a reason why you were let go, bro. You're not as good as you used to be. How did you, how did Detroit do last year? And by last year, I mean this season. Oh, wait. Maddie says Watson can end up on the Jets for that number two pick. Hey. Hey. I like that idea. What happens to Darnold? Fuck him. Who cares? They got Robert Sala as their head coach now. So then do they trade Darnold away on that in that deal too? So- they give Darnold to Houston? I think I think what um what was it? Ian Rappaport and a couple other people reporting that uh Robert Sala and the Jets plan to keep Sam Darnold for another year. So we'll see how that goes. I have nothing against Sam. I think he's had bad people around him. I think that he and and Adam Gase was a terrible fucking head coach. Bar none. I think Sam deserves somebody that's going to build him up and to give him an actual fair shot. The thing that I hate the most is that people see quarterback play and like people will see Daniel Jones, right? And you'll be like, why the fuck would somebody want to pick him up? Like what? And then of course, in the first year, you're like, oh, this is not good. But then when he has, when you have a solid head coach behind him, you have solid personnel behind the person and you can actually build that person up and give them an actual chance Huh, it turns out Daniel Jones, while not amazing, is not as bad as he was the first year he played. Who would have fucking thought? I just hope the same for Sam. I, I want him to have a genuine shot. Um, Beth says, I just want Watson to go somewhere he can really show what he can do. He's so fun to watch, and I think he could be an amazing QB on a team that actually help him. Yes! She says she'll root for the Vikings. Yes. If he comes here, yeah. Yes. <laughs> he can deal it. He can run it. Yes. Uh, Justin says off topic, but do you have any, do any of you use a VPN service and do you have any recommendations thinking of trying out express VPN? It's just the one I've heard about. I personally do not, but I've heard that express is fine. I've heard that Nord is fine. I've heard that private internet access is fine. It's basically pick your poison. I would say use a free trial for every one if you can, and then determine speeds off that they're all secure. Um, Maddie says, reports are Watson wants to go to Miami. See, so here's, I think that Tua deserves one more year. 
Same reason I talk about Sam Darnold. Same reason I talk about Daniel Jones. I think Tua deserves one more year. Tua was, they said that they were going to start Tua at some point this season, and they did. And then when things went awry, Fitzmagic came in and sprinkled his magical Fitz dust and won some games. So then do you trade Tua? So say like he's hell bent on going to Miami. You'd have to trade him. You trade Tua to You'd have Houston? to. But that's my problem is that I'd want him I'd want him to have another year. Do you take the chance though when you have a great quarterback willing to come? See, that's my problem, right? That's Yeah. Business is business. You you yep. have an established quarterback with Deshaun Watson. Obviously. So, yes, if I were the Miami Dolphins, unless I just loved and adored Tua, yes, you take the obvious choice. Depending upon what the trade is, you don't want to throw everything away. But if it's like a one-for-one, one, which it's not going to be, but if it was a one-for-one, one, Deshaun for fucking Tua, yeah, you're not going to say no to that. But it's not going to be a one-for-one. One. There's no way. Because you're literally giving away your franchise quarterback at that point if you're the Texans. And you're not going to do that unless you're getting a lot in return. So I don't know, man. I don't know. But like I said, if I if I was Miami and I actually liked Tua, I would I would give him another chance. I would give him one more year as a full blown starter. Have the personnel around him. You have a great A defense. Your defense is fantastic. I want Tua to have another year. My business is business. Who the fuck? I, this is the reason why I'm not a fucking. I'm not in football. It's the reason why. Um, man, that was a lot of football talk. I'm sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> it's exciting though, man. And we have both championship games next weekend. Man, the Bills could potentially go to the Super Bowl, and God knows how long. Aaron Rodgers could make a case for being MVP of the regular season. And if he goes to the Super Bowl and wins Super Bowl MVP, even though fuck Aaron Rodgers, but that could still be cool. You have Tom Brady going to a star-studded team, <laughs> the Bucks, just after airing his complaints about the Patriots out, going to the Super Bowl, man. Wouldn't that be something? You know what the other thing is too? Let's say that the Bucs win. Not the Super Bowl, but let's see the Bucs win against the Packers. Hey, Will, where's the Super Bowl this year? It's Miami. It's in Tampa Bay. Oh, it's, it is in Tampa? It's in Tampa Bay. I think it was for Florida somewhere. I yep. just took a shot. Yep, so it would be... I mean, we were hoping ours was going to be that, but it would be... The first time where a team entering the Super Bowl is, is at home. Um, Maddie says, Cowboys should sign Watson and trade Dak to the Patriots. Kappa. Uh, Maddie also says, Rodgers will win it all just to throw it in the Packers owner's face for drafting a QB. He has been playing really well this year. because yeah. <laughs> Fucking drafting Jordan Love. Trading up. Trading up. To draft Jordan Love, mind you. Hey, if that was the fire he needed, like... Look at that Bravo, fire. Yeah. It's burning bright. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, hi, uh, Beth says, wash your mouth out with, with soap, Maddie. That's the one team I will not cheer for. You know, I do... I also feel for Dak because I feel that, A, he should have been... He should have gotten a contract. Like, one, deservedly so. Not something extra, like extraordinary, but I believe he deserved to be signed for a good amount of money. Because again, he's a fighter. He doesn't, he doesn't talk shit like to the media or anything like that. He's a good dude, and he's good. Like he's a, he's a solid fucking quarterback. I would. You can quote me on this. I would take him over Kirk any day. Just because he can also guess, guys, he can run. Oh my God! Wait. He can actually take a tackle, too. It's crazy. No, can't do that? Kirk Cousins. Kirk can throw a fucking ball, sure. Stats are stats. Wins are wins. But, man, think about that. If Dak went to the Patriots, that'd be cool. I like Dak. Oh. 
But man, that'd be crazy though. Brady and the Bucks at home in a Super Bowl. God, it's Josh Allen and the Bills. It's I don't think they have the shootout capability to go toe to toe with the Packers right now. So yeah, offensive offensive wise, but if their defense steps up, and their defense not... did step up in this game in against oh, yeah. the Saints, so. But I think I mean clearly here's the problem though too is that clearly the Bucks had a grudge against the Saints because they lost against them twice earlier in the regular season. They almost went three and out. Mm-hmm. So the fact that like they had that chip on their shoulder, I, they don't have a chip on their shoulder with with. Aaron Rodgers and the pa- and the Packers and they they have to go to Green Bay, which is going to be cold as shit. Twenty degree weather. Yep. Yep. Who knows if it's going to be snowing or not? Now, granted, if there's one thing, if there's one outlier here, Brady has known to play in the snow and play in the cold for a long time. Oh yeah, up in Foxborough. So he knows what to do. Mm-hmm. Gronk knows what to do. But does anybody else know what to do? <laughs> That's that's the real question. But yeah. Like everything against the, the Packers aside, if if Rodgers does win, good for him because it's been a long time since he's won an MVP. And he's he's incredible. Like you can't deny his skill. Obviously, we would love him if he came to us. Um But yeah, it's the next two games the NFC and the AFC championship games are going to be awesome. Especially, especially if uh, Patrick Mahomes is back, we're going to have two incredible games on our hands, which should be. So I'm excited. Will, do you want to move on? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. Okay. Let's get into sh- shout outs. Also slightly moody coming in with the follow. Like I said, thank you very much. I hope you're doing, I hope you're having a great night. Uh, thank you for joining us for HGS football talk because that's what that <laughs> definitely felt like. Um, community creation, wait, no shout outs. Duh. What the fuck am I doing? Shouts everyone who joined the community play date. That was hero Spartan again with the 40 plus fucking kills in that last game. Insane. Marmar goalie sniper and heavy rainfall. Thank you guys very much for joining HGS pro football talk. We should reach out to pro football focus. Be like, hey guys, you know, you guys are the official like stat givers of the NFL. We are now the official Halo esports football podcast of the NFL. <laughs> that is what we are. That makes sense. Absolutely. I think so too. Um, shout out to everyone who followed and subbed during the live show. So, slightly moody. Thank you very much for the follow. Jordan with the 10 month resub and high tech redneck Beth with the eight month resub. Thank you guys so very much. Happy belated birthday to the man himself, Shyway. Happy belated birthday, good sir. Hope it was fantastic. And then also want to give a happy early birthday shout out to none other than Marmar, Marlin, of course. And Marmar, I reached out to you on Discord, but you never got back to me. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say when this is because I don't remember if it's on your birthday itself. But I believe his birthday is on Wednesday, uh, January 20th, which is also, I don't give a shit about what anybody's political affiliation is, but that's inauguration day. Fuck yes. But if I'm correct on that day, that should be Marlon's birthday as well. And he's going to be holding a special Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links tournament. And I can't remember if it's on that day. But hey, if you want more information on that, reach out to him on Discord and uh, get in that get in that tournament. He said that a lot of people who are playing in the tournament are brand new to the game, so don't feel like you're being left out if you're just starting out. Everybody has a chance. Community creations. Halo memes every day. Reddit.com forward slash r forward slash Halo memes. We have clips of the week number 89 by High Tech Redneck over on YouTube. That link should be included in the Google Doc of the show. to the show tomorrow, which is Monday. Halo 5 montage edited by Will. You ready? Yeah. The only Zoltan. That's by Stress over on YouTube. Check that out. We have Halo Wood wall pieces. This is by Marquisio over on Reddit. And they're fucking awesome. And 
he takes custom requests, reach out to him in the comments of that post. They really do look fantastic. We have the Halo Community Spotlight by Snickerdoodle. We have What's Real by Maddie. If you know how to pronounce this name, please let me know. Will, if you know how to pronounce this name, please let me know. I have literally no idea. Is it Aptiki or Aptikai? Aptiki. All right, Aptiki. That is, that is a none other than a musical trio featuring Mark Onset Hatcher, who we've interviewed on this show. As a matter of fact, you can go check that episode out as well. The song is great. Great ambiance. Nice, nice tune. It is really good, Beth. It's really good. And then finally, a personal shout out of myself because uh, I'm going to do it. It's our show. Who gives a shit? My game of the year 2020 list is live on my website. You can go check that out. That's all I got. Will, without further ado, please plug the show. You find us on your favorite podcast services. Just search for HES Pro Talk. We're on iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, Stitcher, Spotify, and others as well. Pocket cats. There you go. Join the Discord. Join the community discussion. Lots of great things going on over there. Um, you can join our Xbox Club or Spartan Company. Search for us on HaloWaypoint.com. We're on our social media, you know, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. If you want to include Twitch, we're live here. And then... We have our own esports Peter page and our website, hsprotalk.com. Check it out. Everything's posted over there if you want to, you want a one centralized location. And also, if you want some of that merch that Josh is currently wearing. <laughs> Exclusive! You have 13 days remaining. 13. Champion. That's what we are. And you can be too. You order this, <laughs> order this merch. It's great. Very comfortable, stylish, fitting. Buy it today. Will, thank you very much for plugging the show. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Except if you're a child, you shouldn't be listening or watching this show. That is going to do it. For episode 162 of HCS Pro Talk. I want to thank you very much for watching, for tuning into the live show. I want to thank you for listening. If you're catching this, like Will said, on your favorite podcast services, including none other than Pocket Cast, which is my preferred podcast service. We'll be back next week. To talk about God knows what. And you know what, Will? I'm going to say this. Whenever that toggle comes out for those skins, I cannot wait. If, If what I'm thinking is correct and it's an all or nothing deal, I cannot wait for those same people who bitched about those armors coming and not being able to toggle them bitching about weapon skins not being able to be seen anymore. I cannot fucking wait for that day. Randy Josh come up big time that episode. If that episode happens, <laughs> who the fuck knows? Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us. We'll catch you next week. But uh, until then, you know, wait, hold on. Before we actually, okay, before we cut the, the audio version of the show. I just want to say this real quick. This is a genuinely serious thing. And I made a joke about it before, but I want to be 100% sincere in this point in time right now. Regardless of your political affiliation, yes, inauguration day, January 20th on Wednesday. There's going to be a lot of things that are happening that day. Hopefully more good than bad. People will be people. What happened in the Capitol was devastating. All I want is for everybody to be safe. Be good to one another. We have rules and laws in place for a reason. Just 
That's that's where I'm going to leave it. Regardless of your political affiliation, inauguration day is on the 20th. Don't be fucking stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to episode 162. We'll catch you next week. But until then, All right, quick after show. Very quick, I promise. Will, do you want some uninspirational quotes and then one joke and we can get the fuck out of here? Yeah, let's do it. All right. <clears throat> and Beth also says, I'm with goalie sniper 100%. Uh, give me a no dinos toggle. You know, fuck dinos, man. <laughs> fuck them. Sure, yeah. The uninspirational quote for the weekend of last weekend was don't think of it as being alone. Think of it as not bothering other people. And yes, I believe we already said it, but I think we did. You did it again for Monday. Mondays are like X's. No one wants them. They just keep coming back for Tuesday. This is not directed to anybody. Okay, this is just what the calendar says. For Tuesday, you put the I in failure. It's kind of harsh. For Wednesday, your parents always secretly hoped you'd run away. Thursday, losing is natural for you. <laughs> Again, kind of mean. For, rough. Yeah, right? For Friday, the air is human. And you are human AF. I don't get it. But I'm probably just a moron, so. The air, as in like the E-R-R. air? E-R-R. For the weekend, the last uninspirational quote of the week. Go on a trip. We all need a vacation from you. Womp womp. They're great. I'm glad you like them, Beth. And you don't have to thank Justin for these this time because these are uh these are not from him. All right, let's do a let's do a potty joke and we'll we'll get out of here. Here we go. They will. Yeah. What's the only thing harder than having diarrhea? What? Trying to spell diarrhea. I think you said that one already. Did I? Yeah, I remember that. I thought I said it to work. I, re- I remember that joke. Oh, I, I probably did. Did I tell you that I'd say the rabbit and bear one too? Yeah. yeah that's what I thought. Fur. That's what I yeah. thought. Um, all right, hold on. My, oh my God, Justin. <laughs> my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for episode 162. Oh. Holy shit. Um, that was good. That was good. <sighs> All right, last one. Here we go. The Hundred Acre Wood Gang had to kick Tigger out of the group. They told him to come prepared for a game of poo sticks, and well, he didn't exactly bring a branch. <laughs> what? Uh, Justin says, see everyone Tuesday. Should we run some H5 to have Will join us? I'm down to run some H5 finally. Will, you want to run some H5 on Tuesday? Uh, sure. Why not? We're going to go for 152 in one in one day. <laughs> good luck. What do you mean good luck? You're joining. 
Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. All right. Let's fucking get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for episode 162, the live show and the VOD. Uh, again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, we'll be back next week for God knows what. Um, but yeah. So I got potatoes are coming back to Taco Bell, ladies and gentlemen. What a great, what a great day to be alive. Guys, that's it for us. We'll be back next week. But again, until then. Give me the fucking merch, please, 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 Maddie.